Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to be doing a review on um, a Genesis atomizer that I've been using solely for the past week. I am absolutely in love with it and it's far out like the best Genesis atomizer that I've been I've used so far. Um, it's the AC9 and it's a lot of people assume that the AC9 is a 22mm atomizer but after putting it on my 22mm gus, I realized that it sticks out a wee bit, but I don't quite care. Although I know that there might be a lot of people out there who are really particular about like their gens and their mod setting flash. Anyway, let's take a vape and I'll talk about it. So my AC9 is currently set to uh, 4 reps of 28 gauge Kenthel wire uh, which is about 0 0.8 ohms with a 3 to 5 mesh and about a 60% PEG, 40% VG um, liquid. So I got, the, I got my AC9 as a set and it came in this box. Um, with it came the AC9 3 pre-made um, pre-oxidized 3 to 5 mesh, a whole bunch of extras with a white Darren drip tip, um, a meter of 28 gauge Kenthal, and a meter of 30 gauge Kenthal. Um, it also came with this stainless steel um, drip tip that I currently have on my zap. Um, so the AC9, um, first out of the bat, you get a 1.5 millimeter air hole on the top cap and you have the option of actually purchasing a tighter draw cap for about 16 USD. Now the food kit costs uh, 140 USD, but you can buy it individual for about 125 US dollars if I'm not wrong. Um, comes with a pretty big oh, wick hole, as you can see. It's about a 3.5 mm wick hole if I'm not wrong. Uh, from my experience, after trying. Um, different wicks on the setup, I realized that I get a much better vape just by using a straw wick that has about a 0.5 to 1 mm give on the side of the wick hole so it allows um, better capillary action straight out of the tank um, especially towards the end of the tank where I do not have to tilt it um, that much um, the AC9, in my opinion, is one of the easiest um, Genesis atomizers to ever coil because you, okay, I wrap my coils separately, um, as in I wrap it on the mesh first before I put it down, trap the negative pose, and then just like trap the, um, pos trap the wire on a positive pose as well. And this made it really easy as the top part I'm not too sure if you can see it because my camera sucks. Um, it's actually spring loaded. So all you need to do is just like push it down with your nail a bit and trap the spring and then pull the, pull the, uh, trap the wire and then pull the wire across, push down a spring and trap the remaining. Um, I think this is far out one of the easiest positive post recoiling that I've tried at least. and. Um, it's been working out really well and somehow I have no idea why maybe it's like the oxidized washes on the top of like the positive um, pose that actually helped me to that actually provided me with much more give 
when I'm wrapping my coil as in um, say take a look at this for example crap you can't quite see it I yeah you can't quite see it <clears throat> my coil is actually pretty loosely wrapped around the wick and um, I tried doing this exact same thing on a cobra and I just ended up getting a ton of hot spots but somehow on this it actually I didn't get any hot spots from this it was just like wrap trap fire it was it glowed all red and it was like ready to vape which I thought was pretty interesting in my opinion um flavor wise I do get a tad bit more flavor from it it's not say very noticeable but you kind of like taste different nuances of your liquid when I was vaping on my AC9 like for example I was vaping um, Boba's Bounty on my Aga T and on my Zap before this and I was getting more like a raisin kind of like slight hint of tobacco and graham crackers kind of like flavor but the moment I put Boba's on my AC9 I pretty much got a um, I got more I ended up tasting more flavors from it um, Koi setting battery setup whatever was the same no idea but I somehow thought that perhaps it's because like the tank is isolated from the positive from like the center pin straight itself so none of your liquid actually touches metal except like the top diaphragm perhaps i think that's what it's called in your wig so maybe that's why you get more flavor from it i'm not too sure um overall i also felt that my liquid did not get as brown as say when i was using a different um genesis setup because um, yeah, due to like the separation of the tang, in my opinion, I have no idea whether this theory of mine is even correct, so don't quote me on this. Um, your liquid does not touch the metal, so it does not get as hot that fast, and as such, the liquid remains like true to its color. That's what I thought at least, I'm not too sure about that, so yeah. Um, really good vape from this, in my opinion. However, one slight gripe that I actually had was it took me a while before I managed to solve um, the licking issue from like the AC9 so let me show this to you where awkward silence but yeah um, so you see over here right it's for me I had a leaking problems from like that was coming out of this 510 connector where it would leak onto my um, brass pin on my gas and all the way down like into my battery so what I did was I actually switch out the original Darren that came with it for the Darren that I got with the Agati and I just like shove the Darren all the way up and screw it um, the um, 510 connector all the way down so if I were to remove the 510 connector my tower and it's pretty much stuck there I have to like use something out to use something else to pull it out um, so far that has stopped the leaking problem for me um, another way that I real that I found out that you can actually help to like subsidize your leaking issues is you see the top nut over here, right? Um, you can tighten it all the way down until it hits the white Delrin. So it creates like this total like pressing, pressure, puts pressure on it. So it prevents like liquid from getting into it and dripping out the 510 connector. However, through trying that, it brought my entire top post like all the way down and I had to like bend my coils straight down to it. Um, it works, however, it could affect your overall experience of trying to like um, trap your top nut on it. Because one thing you've got to note is that when you bring the 
the bottom nut down and if you were to tighten a top screw it provide it ends up giving your spring really little give that and can make it really hard for you to trap your um kenta wire so in my opinion the darren method the switching out of the bottom darren insulator works the best for me um overall i really like this setup a lot um it's made out of stainless steel and if I'm not wrong, vape, well Vapenase is sold out, Cloud9 Vaping is actually having a sale on tonight at 9th of March, 9pm GMT, um, at 9th of March, 12pm GMT, it was the email that I received from them. So go check out the AC9, I'm pretty sure you'll like it, and for those of you who are worried that Initially, I know in version 1 there was like some top cap issues in which some um, drip tips were not able to like fit onto um, the mouth pit, mouth on the drip tip connector, I think that's what it's called. Um, version 2 works perfect and it fits tight as well. I can put, um, this is a sagewood glass drip tip, can put it in with no problems. Um, so like, comment, and subscribe this video if you're keen, and check out the AC9. Pretty sure you'll like it as it's far out one of my all-day vaping devices right now. And see you next video. Peace.